district-wide textbook inventory every year. One method that can be used to get the barcode information into Destiny is scanning the barcodes into Notepad or a WordPad document. The textbook manager will first need to create a folder, probably in the My Documents area because you can get to that anywhere. I have already created one, but you go to File, New, and click on Folder to create a new folder. I have already created one for this year. You want to go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, and here's where you can open a notepad or a WordPad document. You'll want to scan your barcodes. Notice that they all go down the left side. There's no information with these yet because there it's just the barcode. You get the information that ties it to the book in Destiny. So you'll strictly have a list of barcodes. You'll want to come up with a name, naming convention that makes sense to you. It might You might name it the storage room, you might name it by a department, you might name it um, by a teacher in a classroom, whatever works for you so that you can know where you've gotten those materials from. The important part is the document must be saved as a text document. It must have a .txt extension. The next step is to go into Inventory and Destiny. You'll notice I've already logged into my site. I'm in Textbook View and the District Inventory is the one that's showing. It's got this year, Bay District Schools. You want to go to your Browse button. And mine is already coming up, but if it weren't, you would go to Documents and then find the folder. But mine is coming up because I just used it. You click on the correct file, click on Open, click on Upload. This sends a report to Job Manager. You view the report. And all of these items, six barcodes were read, six barcodes were accounted for. This is also where it would tell you if it was checked out and it did not check it in. If you use the upload button, it does not check it in. But you can go in and put this individual barcode into inventory and it will check it in. Also, if you have uh, a lot of lost items, if it's showing up as this item was lost, please contact us and we can let you know a shorter way to get all those items so that they won't be lost anymore. You want to go back into inventory. After you've loaded several items, you want to go and view in progress and completed inventories. And you want to view. So it, now you'll notice it's got the triangle by the um, items. Now in this screen, you can look at what you've got accounted for and the ones that are unaccounted for. This is the report I would look at. It'll give you an idea if there's an area that you didn't that you skipped, like you might have all of your fifth grade reading books in a certain area and you might have inadvertently skipped that area. So this is a good way to look and see. But you'll see that it's 163 pages. So what you want to do is scan 
as much as possible and then use this report as a, oh, I, I should have gone into that closet and scanned. Notice that you've got breadcrumbs up here. You want to use these rather than the back button because sometimes that can throw you all the way out. So we're going to go back into in progress inventories. You can also look at your list of titles counted here. And then you click on view. And that will let you know about the items that shows you that you have not done any of the titles without barcodes. Because this is a district inventory, you will have a finish button on your site. You do need to push that button before we can finalize the inventory, but please make sure that you found as many of your materials as possible. If the materials are not found when you hit that finish button and it's finalized at the district, then those are marked as lost. So you don't want to lose, have that many materials marked as lost. You need to find as much as you can. Please remember that anything that is already checked out has already been counted for. So all you need to do is be out there scanning those closets and the items that are not currently checked out. Please call the District Media Center if you have any questions. We have scanners that can be borrowed and we have uh, help with the Panthers if you need help with your Panther or anything to get the inventory going.